Hello everyone, my name is Joan Darmill and today I will talk about some news and trends in e-commerce. This topic will be less about defining the characteristics and giving definitions of e-commerce and more about looking, focusing on trends and news regarding e-commerce, hence the title of this presentation. First of all, we will uh, briefly define e-commerce and give an intuitive one for the for some of those who, uh, some of those who uh, engage in it, very engage in it a lot, but just don't know what it's called. And next, we will um, show how e-commerce has made an impact in people's lives, um, made a change in the world, and these changes will be exhibited in this in these three articles. There's more articles about how e-commerce have has um, made a significant impact in the world, but we'll just focus on these three today. I think three examples will pretty much um, cover it, um, be able to like get the gist of the idea about how e-commerce makes an impact in the world. So the first thing we will do is uh, define e-commerce, give a brief definition of e-commerce. According to the about.com website, when you uh, do transactions or facilitate business on the internet, it's called e-commerce. The word commerce itself is just transacting and facilitating business. Just a business, but when you do it on the internet, because the internet is on the computer and the computer is on a device, it is now called e-commerce, kind of like email. You uh, do you all write messages or someone writes you messages via the internet, which is again on a computer and computers and electronic devices is called an email. Otherwise, if you weren't doing on the internet and you were doing it physically, it would just be called mail. So e-commerce and email are kind of related in that regard. So we do transactions or facilitate business on the internet. If on the internet, it is called e-commerce. Some examples of e-commerce online shopping is uh, one of the most common examples, such as Amazon, Target.com, Walmart.com. Um, you can make electronic payments. You can do online auctions. eBay is a well-known online auction website. You can do internet banking. Like you can uh, keep track of your accounts from the comfort of your own home, as opposed to like going to a bank and asking your teller the state of your account. You can do online ticketing. Like you can buy uh, sports tickets, play tickets, uh, movie tickets online. You can do you can do a lot of uh, business transactions online. And anytime you do business transaction online, it is e-commerce. Next, we will. Um, we will uh, attempt to show you how e-commerce has made a significant impact in the world, and we will exhibit um, that uh, through these uh, three articles. There's more, of course. There's more examples, many more examples online, but I think three will pretty much um, hit the nail home. So first, we will go to the New York, this New York Times article. The name of this article is E-commerce companies bypass the middleman. So basically designers, manufacturers, brands, wholesalers, and retailers are a middleman. So basically if um, you have like a seller and they want to sell product, but then um, some other company does the uh, the freight and then the, the, they're the carriers and then the, the other company um, supplies the parts and the other company assembles the product to like Best Buy. We have um, Panasonic, Sony, um, um, Nvidia, or yeah, sort of like um, well-known companies make the products at the store. Well, of course, Best Buy has to buy has to buy those so they can sell. So they buy things that they're going to sell. So that's what basically what the middleman is. And of course, having a middleman is uh, costly. And what uh, some of these companies here, such as an eyeglass company, yeah, it's an eyeglass company, and I believe there's also a furniture company here, 
that's the name of the furniture company. Um, they decided to do e-commerce. So it's cheaper for them now because they don't have to maintain physical stores. They don't have to um, maintain as much physical stores. The only stores they probably maintain is uh, where they actually manufacture the products. But then if they but then if they want to like get out there, um, they can just use the internet instead of building multiple stores. So that saves a lot of money for them. And um, so and then the, there's no middleman, so that's a that's a double bonus. So they save so much money, so they're a lot less reluctant to jack up the prices. So therefore, the consumers pay a lot less. But of course, there's some disadvantages. There's some disadvantages, such as like since they're a small company and they're obscure, they have to spend a lot of money advertising. Of course, they can't spend a lot of advertising because they're a small company. So that that means that they won't incur a lot of expenses. And I believe somewhere in this article, um, the furniture company Deal Decor had to shut down operations because um, marketing costs to attract that customers to an unknown brand was way too expensive for them. But of course, it's also a benefit, like um, of having this kind of setup. Probably they weren't, uh, they didn't spend so much money on uh, advertising. Maybe they would have uh, done a lot better. But of course, it's also advertising that customers get their products a lot faster. One because they're e-commerce. Well, of course, getting on the store is a lot faster because I buy something, I want that, and then you can put it in your bag, and then you go home with. But um, for buying online, you have to wait several days, but without, without the middleman or the absence of the middleman, they can get their products a lot faster. So there's for the buyer to the seller instead of like the buyer to other like you know middlemen like like the people who supply the components, people who assemble it, people who actually give the products for the store to sell. So, what? So a lot of disadvantage advantage, which takes us to our next topic or article. See, we're finished with this one. Yes. Um, this one about the Guardian. So even though even though businesses decide they want to adopt, they want to adopt. In e-commerce, they still have to have physical stores because there's still some advantages. Like for example, they've been traditionally a physical store, and of course, like simply converting is uh, rather costly. So they decided to just go half in the middle. So now customers, um, cost like Walmart customers, because Walmart both has a website and um, super stores, they can either buy their stuff online or they can go to the store. Of course, uh, companies who are traditionally um, brick and mortar stores that are not e-commerce prefer their companies to uh, buy their stuff, buy buy from them the store. So they do that by getting creative. Yes, where is it? Ah, to encourage online visitors to visit your retail store, you need to get creative. Um, so like the the stores will offer discounts and voucher codes that can only be redeemed when they go inside a in physical store or in store. So that so that's their attempt in attracting customers to still go to the stores because of course maintaining the stores is expensive. And if if the store's not being used as much and not people are going to it, it's a waste of time and money trying to maintain. A, a physical store. Yeah. And so in the first two articles, we uh, talked about how e commerce. Um, has impacted the lives of everyday people, whether it be the business or the consumer. Um, sometimes it is a good thing, and sometimes it's a it's a bad thing. So if a technology isn't used correctly, or approaching a 
the correct manner, it can actually be a disadvantage, even though it is the real correct thing. So, not only do you have to um, have the new and current thing, but you have to know how to use it correctly. So now we look at an example of e-commerce outside of the U.S. Um, people in Egypt started to rely on e-commerce because, of course, of the recent protests and uh, political strife and revolutions. It's kind of dangerous outside, so if people want to shop for like essential safety, they want to do it at the comfort and safety of their own home. So that's so some of the things that they buy, like essential pharmaceuticals, uh, medicines. Um, they can order food. It says here that there's an online database of local restaurants. That's pretty neat. Um, you can completely allow the user to browse their menus, and they can take as long as they want. As opposed to like having a waiter stand there and then be patiently uh, waiting for you to give your order. Um, of course, of course, since uh, um, Egypt is a less developed country, not a lot of people have internet connection. So only so only a few are really taking um, taking advantage of e-commerce in dangerous times like these. Because um, yes, um, yes, they do mention of low internet penetration. So it actually would be more that e-commerce would be a great advantage to more Egyptians if uh, the internet actually. There's a great potential if it did work. So in Egypt, the people have turned to e-commerce not just because of convenience and when uh, it saves money and time, but also because it is safe, especially with the recent um, um, political. The political um, struggles and um, chaos, and then the fa various factions going on in Egypt. They say e-commerce is a safe alternative rather than going outside and possibly being caught in between danger. And of course, this ties into how Egypt uses social media. So, um, so technology for in the case of Egypt, actually has a rather positive effect for the country. So, yes, and um, so we went all, we covered all three examples, and of course, as I mentioned again, there are some more examples and fees, there are examples and fees, but I think this will, um, but I hope that, um, um, those out there pretty much get the gist about how important e-commerce is and how it impacts uh, various businesses, peoples, and even different countries around the world. And um, that's all I have for today. And thank you very much for uh, listening attentively. And um, I hope you all have a nice day. And uh, again, thank you very much.